Hello everybody, good morning, happy Saturday. Here in Nebraska, the weather is turning. The leaves are falling, you can kind of see it outside. Sorry if it's blurry, there's a little bit of a haze because it's misting and it's a little cool outside. So I always get a little bit of a, a haze on my windows, but uh, sorry if there is a glare. Hopefully you can see me okay. Um, you know, I, there's a certain time of the year that I hit a block, um, a wall. And it's uh, basically creative burnout. Um, throughout the summer season, I slow down because, you know, you're outside the activities, you know, families gathering more and uh, just to enjoy the outdoors. But you can always still get inspired. Um, now, when it comes to this time of year, they call it the fourth quarter, and this is when you have to ramp up everything, get going, get your pictures up, um, show your items, um, get yourself, sell yourself, um, be in front of that camera more often, show your product, show yourself with your products, um, show yourself painting a project or something like that. But I want to talk to you about before you get to that point, if you ever hit a wall and you have creative burnout. Now, I've done it several times and I've just, I seriously just kind of set everything to the side and I forget about it, which I paid the price for that to try and get my audience back going again. They're like, well, we haven't seen you forever. So, you know, we found someone else, which is okay in a sense because they'll come back to you because they like the things that you actually do. Another thing is like imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is that you see other people's work and you're like, oh man, you know, they're, they do, how do they do that? They do such better work. Why would anybody buy something from me? All right, listen, everybody, you're going to brand yourself. They, your audience is going to like you for you. They're, they're actually not buying your products. They're buying your, you, because they like how you do things and how you talk and how you speak to them and, you know, you're, how you're a friend to them. And, uh, uh, you know, you buy, they buy their things from you. So don't judge yourself on what other people do because you have your own way of doing things. Um, now if that is what causes you to hit a creative wall, Please don't let that happen. Um, get outside. Here's here's some things to help you get over that. To get over that creative, um, creative block, creative uh, burnout. Um, by the way, it's coffee talk and it's Nana's workshop. So good morning. So today I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, number one, um, you have to get inspired. Get inspired. You can always look around and get inspired. But here's the thing. Take action on that inspiration. You find something that you're inspired by, do it. Paint it. Create it. Make your version of it. Don't just take a picture. I have thousands of pictures that I thought, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm driving down the highway and I see a beautiful tree. I take a picture. And I have logged so many photographs instead of going home and maybe that weekend paint that tree or, you know, sketch that tree. Um, take action on that inspiration. Don't just let it go by the wayside. Um, I think God puts things out there in front of you to uh, have that inspiration and use your talent to share with the world. So there's a reason why that was put in front of you. Um, get out of your house. Get out of the house, go for a drive, go for a walk, Get a change of scenery. Um, you're staring at four walls. You're seeing the same thing from room to room. Get outside. Go for a walk. Go for a drive. Go to the next town. Uh, go out in the country. I don't know if you follow me on a regular personal basis, but uh, we have found some strange and beautiful old buildings on just drives out in the country. Uh, get up. Move your body. If you're bored, get up, move your body. I know it's hard. Your body's like, no, I'd rather take a nap. No, get up and move your body. Now, five minutes ago, 
I almost fell asleep in the chair. I'm like, no, I've got things to do. Get up and move your body. And now I'm kind of awake. <laughs> and that's decaf, by the way. It's not real coffee. It's not, the, it's not the coffee that's waking me up. It's you guys. It's inspiration from you guys. So get up, get your body going, get that blood circulating. Get up if it's crappy weather outside, then seriously, don't laugh at me. I've done this. Uh, take a lap through your rooms. Just go in one room, out the other, in another room, out the other, another room, out the other, and then turn around and walk backwards or something. Just get walk backwards through a room once. It's funny how your mind's like, oh, this is so strange. But it, it's, it's changing your mindset is what it's all about. So get up and get moving. Um, like I said, go for a walk, exercise, prove yourself. You can do hard things. Um, if you're like a little bit ago, I was just on the verge of dozing off. I'm like, Oh, I get up, get up Shannon and get moving. Um, it's raining outside. Now I have the shop already and set up. I'm going to paint another, um, uh, human, uh, human pose. So I'm going to do that pretty soon and I have it all set up. I'm ready to go. And I'm not going to waste this day away, uh, even though it's raining. And I don't mind it's raining. I'm going to raise the garage door. Um, I think it's not too cool. I can still wear my coat outside and paint. You know, I don't mind that. Um, otherwise, if it is, I can shut the door and turn the heater on. So get up and get moving. Um, it's, it's a rainy, dreary day. But I, you know what? I'm, I don't, they don't bother me. They really don't. Uh, what bothers me is... Uh, February and March when there's still snow on the ground and we're having blizzards and I can't do anything. That's what upsets me because I know spring is just around the corner and it takes forever to get to spring in Nebraska. <laughs> so I, I have to do something. I have to do something with my hands. I either rearrange the house or make crafts or I paint or I clean carpets. You know, it's just get up and move, get up and move and do something. Show your body. Prove to yourself, I can do this. I can do hard things. Uh, the last one, final. Um, find a group of like-minded people. If you are a wreath maker, get into some wreath making groups. You never know when you find some helpful hints. Don't be so stubborn that you think you know it all and you don't want to share your tips. Or you don't want to share your stuff because you think they might steal it. Well, listen, listen, Linda. You probably got some inspiration from other people so they can get inspired by you. That's what it's all about. That's why God gave you this talent to share your talent with the world. Now, um, if somebody makes something similar, commend them and say, if you have a copyright on it, then let them know. If you have a copyright and a patent on what you do or what you have, then you have to let them know. Yes. Um, if you do not, then you're just passing on your talent or your, your beautiful item that you made. And I get inspired by others. I put my own take on it. Um, I try, I really try to stay with nature and, um, my own photos of people, you know, things like that. But, uh, your, your regular paintings, I mean, you can get inspired by anybody. I mean, and thank them. If you go into a group and you're in a painting group, now, such as mine, such as this, and you are following along with me and you paint a picture that I'm showing you, I have no problem of you guys painting that and selling it because I taught you and I showed you how to do it. Now, there's some paintings that I won't show you how I do because that's my personal things that I sell. The, that's the things that I... That's, that's, a, that's a deeper side of me that I will keep to myself. And you guys do that. Don't put everything out there in the world. Um, you can share certain things. Um, so you guys, if you, seriously, if you have a creative block or you, get up and get moving, get with inspired people, get out to get inspired, get with like-minded people. It's amazing how once you get into a group and you say hello, how much they will welcome you. And they will say, hello, so glad you're here. What's your name? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. So get in there and get into groups. Now, in, in, in the wintertime, 
after the holidays. After the holidays is hard for me. From, I would say, mid-January to mid-March is tough for me because those are the harshest months, I think, here in Nebraska. You're stuck inside. Um, it's bitter, bitter cold that you can't, you know, it's some of the, the wind is so bitey. It just peels the skin off your face sometimes. It's just horrible. So <laughs> I, I'm not a winter fan. Um, I love the holidays. I like snow, but when it's so bitter and icy and sleety and, and it just, it, it's yucky out. So I have to find things in here to do and get things in, in, that inspire me. Now, years ago when I first gardened, I used to order garden magazines and I used to sketch out. I mean, I literally sketched out my garden that is thriving to this day. And everybody said I don't have enough room for it. Well, they have to come see it because it's, it's not a very big space, but I have a lot in it. And it's just everywhere you turn, there's things to look at. And that's what I enjoy, and that's why I wanted to make that, to inspire others. Um, then I started, I mean, I went from building the pond to learning about perennials, trees, shrubs. I mean, I learned the whole thing on my own. I never went to college for it. I never went to school for it. So it was all self-taught through the winter months, and that's what saved me from depression. I went through depression um, one year very harshly. Uh, it was a winter and my son and daughter were both um, in the military. My son was deployed and he was actually deployed four times, but um, the first two times were very harsh for me. Um, it was a separation anxiety and of course the fear of losing him, which I'm very blessed that I did not. And I pray for anybody that ever has. Um, I send out hugs and blessings and you know, I just think it's honorable what they do. They sign up and they just, they're selfless. They're selfless sacrifice. Um, then I moved on to, I just had to keep my mind busy, guys. And so if you go through a tough spot, reach out to me. Please reach out to me. If you are seriously having issues um, with neighbors, finances, or anything like that, and I can't, I can't give you any money, but kiddo, it's some, sometimes it's it's just easier just to vent and get it off your shoulders and you don't know what to do. A lot of times um, my kids don't know how to handle me sometimes because I just I just need someone to talk to. And they're like, well, we, we don't know how to help you. Just, you know what, all you have to do, here they are. And here they are. I can listen and I got big shoulders. And that's sometimes that's all I need all I need. I don't need you to solve my problem. I can't solve your problem, but I'm here to listen. And maybe there is something maybe I can help you with. You know, maybe I can give you some insight or something. So if you're in a block, let's get back to this. If you're in a creative block, you're hitting a creative wall, get out, get inspired, get around like-minded people, reach out to me. If you have questions, if you're stuck on a painting or a craft or something like that, reach out in this group and ask people, hey, I'm stuck. Can you help me? What would you guys do here? And we are always here to help. Always here to help each other. That's why it's a community. Um, it's not just a uh, painting or crafting group. It, we are here to help each other. And I love you all. And I'm always here for you. So please, please, please let me know if I can ever help you in any way. Don't hold it in. Don't get depressed. Don't get to the point where you're ready to throw up your hands and just give up. Um, just don't. Don't quit. The Lord wants to see you succeed. The devil wants to see you fail. And so get out of that chair and succeed. Reach out to me, kids. You guys are great. Uh, I'm going to go paint. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to try and use three colors on one portrait, but I'm going to use different values. I'm using uh, a light, a gray, a turquoise, and a purple, and those are my signature colors for Nana's workshop. So I'm gonna use this in a painting of a, a pose of a human. And the pose is actually my granddaughter, but I'm, I'm developing that figure into a woman. Uh, my granddaughter is 12. So I'm actually, for I just needed the shape of her, so I took a picture of her, 
in a pose and now I'm forming that into a, a woman. So um, I hope you guys stay tuned and I can't wait for you to see it. It might be uh, more than one day progress, but uh, I post pictures and please you guys reach out if you have any problems. This is Coffee Talk. Love you guys. You guys have a great day. Bye.